Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Kerf roof rack system here on our 2020 Toyota RAV4. Now this can be an excellent little way of going ahead and giving yourself a roof rack system without having to break the bank to do so. You are going to get a nice little rack system here. Now it's not going to be quite up to par with some of your more premium options out there. However, you are going to get a couple of little nice features. The big one for me, how easy this guy is to install. It is going to come out of the box just like you see it here today. Obviously not on your car. That's the only installation you're going to have to do is actually get it up on there. The foot pad systems make it very, very easy to utilize and the knob system makes it really easy to tighten down those foot pads. Make sure we have a nice secure fit on the top of our car. Now keep in mind, of course, you will need that raised rail option on your RAV4 to make this happen, but most of us should have those guys. Toyota does a pretty good job making sure they're on there. Now a couple things with this guy though, I have seen just a few little reviews here that it's not the strongest roof rack system out there. With 150 pound weight capacity as well, it's not hard to imagine that it's not quite up to par of the standard. Usually when you're looking at roof rack systems, you're looking at about 165 pounds of weight capacity. So you are already a little lower than most out there. I don't think that has an H-bar support system throughout the entire piece. So I'd be careful putting too much weight, especially in the middle. I would heavily utilize these side towers, making sure most of our weight is on the side of our vehicle. While we still can utilize that middle element, I could just see us causing a little bit of problems, especially if you find yourself wanting to like kind of off road with this guy or go overland. If you have anything in the middle, it's gonna be doing constant pressure of up and down in the middle. I could see it slightly flexing that middle bore because it doesn't have that support system. However, it's gonna be a great little option if you find yourself just wanting to get the family at a vacation destination and just trying to get that roof basket with you or a bike rack right here on the end, it still will do a good job. Kayaks, so don't be worried about that. Let's just be conscious of how we actually are loading this guy up. Well, the installation doesn't take any time at all, like we said, let's go ahead and see how we got it on there. For our installation guys, it's gonna be really straightforward. Luckily for us, it comes just like this in the box. So all we really have to do, make sure our pads are at the appropriate length. So you can see, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we can actually fit that all across our raised rails there for ourselves, guys. So all we have to do is loosen up and pull them apart, which takes no time at all, of course. And then we can get it ready to be put across our system. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my locking core towards me. So I'll meet myself on the other side and get that in position. But all we have to do is kind of get this set now, it can be important to keep in mind that a lot of accessories are gonna have a minimum requirement between your crossbar systems. A good frame of reference, about 26 to 29 inches is usually gonna be a pretty good spread for ourselves. That way, an appropriate balance, most of our accessories, whether it be bike racks, cargo baskets, and especially kayak carriers are a big one to watch out for with that spread. So we can go ahead and start getting this set. Let's grab a tape measure and get that measurement. We're gonna take from center of our other crossbar all the way across. Go ahead and reverse that to give us a better outlook. As you guys can see, we are very close right there to 26, about 26 and a quarter. So what we'll do is go ahead and measure that to the other side as well. And now we can go ahead and just start tightening this on. As you can see too, we are gonna have that included locking core. Make sure you are in the unlock position. Allowing ourselves to actually catch it. So as you can see, it has a little bit of resistance there. That means we actually are catching that and cinching it down. And all that's gonna do is pull in this base pad here, tighter to our raised rail, so we are nice and secure. Now that we're even on our crossbar length, we can go ahead and tighten down the other side as well. So here we are in the unlock position, and that allows us to have that resistance. As you guys can see, it takes a little bit, I am putting pressure here, that thumb to actually rotate this. If I were to go ahead and spin this in the, uh, in the lock position, you can see that we get a free spinning knob here. So that means we're not catching it. It's not gonna come undone. Even if somebody comes up and starts loosening it, they'll just kinda waste their time spinning that, and the wheel stay nice and secure on the top of our roof. Well, now that we got it installed, we're gonna hop up, check some of our dimensions here, see what we're working with. However, if you are finding yourself a little vertically challenged, the RAV4 is a little bit of a taller vehicle. Of course, you can always hop up and just put a foot somewhere. However, it can always be kind of hazardous. You can fall off. This is the Moki doorstep. This can be a great little addition. As you guys can see here, it's just gonna have a little hinge hook element. That's gonna go right in that door latch on the side of our vehicle. It's gonna slot right in. As you guys can see, that's gonna give me a great little spot to hook up and put my foot on, that way I can get up on here, start taking a look here. Makes it really easy to put accessories on as well and just to service our roof rack. But taking a look here, let's go ahead and see exactly what we're working with. We're gonna go from the top of our corrugate on our roof here to the very top of our roof rack system. So from the very top here to the very 
top of our carrier is going to be putting us about five and one quarter inches there to the very top, while our clearance at the bottom is going to be right at four inches there, maybe a sixteenth abut of that four, guys. So plenty of space here in between for a lot of accessories. A lot of times too, guys, you're going to see a lot of mounts just kind of clip right to the top. I don't think we're going to need really that deep of a well here. I think we're really getting that nice raise just with our raised rail system here on the RAV4. So I think in part to that, we are already a little higher up than you might see in some other vehicles. So I definitely like that it's not going to be too shallow here for any of our accessories and it's not going to be too tall either so you guys can see not really adding too much height let's go ahead and just see how much height we're adding innately from that raised rail system yep right under two inches there so as you guys can see a lot of that height is coming from our raised rail system definitely don't think we're gonna have any trouble getting through those drive throughs we're pulling this in the garage well guys with that installation those dimensions kind of shown hopefully that gives you a good idea how this roof rack is going to work for us a couple things i would say with it too as we mentioned that weight capacity is a little wanting in my opinion however still going to work for us other thing with it too at that top there we do have just a little bit of a rubber stripping at the top now that is going to be pretty common on a lot of roof rack systems however a big thing that a lot of roof racks have is going to be a t-slot attachment holder at the top there. So that track allows us to put those T-slots in. Unfortunately, we don't have that here today on the Kurt. If you are looking for something similar, you still want that T-slot, but you don't have to look in the stratosphere on those Yakums maybe or something, any of those premium carriers. If you do want to take a look at a T-slot attachment, the Malone Airflow 2 could be a great little option. You're looking in the same little ballpark for ourselves and you are going to have that T-slot up top. And if that way you do have any accessories that require it, that can be a great little purchase for ourselves. Of course, most accessories are going to have an option of just clamping on these aero style bars so i don't think we're gonna have too many issues unless you're looking for that t-slot well guys i think that's gonna do it for our look at the kurt roof rack system here on our 2020 toyota rav4 i'm bobby thank you for watching